Welcome back, everybody. The Vanity Fair uh, Oscars party is almost as exclusive as the award show itself. So you're going to want to dress to impress there. So let's dive into who made the biggest impression on us for one of the hottest, biggest after parties of the Oscars. Ooh, Jess, who which did it for you? I don't know about you guys, but I think a lot of people looked better at this yes, party. Yes, than they did. yes, yes. I agree with you. But I chose Margot Robbie, and here's uh -huh. why. She was wearing a 1996 <gasps> vintage Moogler um, bodysuit, like corset-like bodysuit. And it's gold, clearly, and she has this bronze cape because presumably she would need a little coverage uh, moving around a party at the back there. But look at that silhouette. When you see her standing, maybe without the cape, it reminds me of an Oscar itself. Yeah. And Margot was, you know, notoriously, in some cases, some people might say, snubbed for best actress. And when you think about that Oscar ceremony that we all just uh, watched, it relied heavily on Barbie didn't it? Like all the best moments were Barbie related and Barbie wouldn't exist without Margot. So I wonder if this was her way of being like, I'm still winning. Yeah. I still won. Yeah. I made an Oscar. Yeah. I, I it. like that. That's my conspiracy theory. I love it. I like it. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I love that. Um, in true fashion for this person that I chose, uh, it's the naked dress. And there were many of them last night at the Vanity <laughs> Fair party. She's back with another one, Kendall Jenner. So yes. you listen, she's got a body. That's why what? she wears this stuff. <laughs> Look at her. And uh, one thing I found interesting for the sheer dress is by uh, Maison Margiela is that you can see her corset straight through. Mm -hmm. And the corset was a look everywhere last night. I don't know how any of these women are breathing. I don't know how any of them are eating or, or drink. I don't know how. But uh, listen, if you look like that, I suppose you can have a panel down the front, a couple little gathered things over your nipples, and off you go to a party. But this is what she does. She has a body. She shows it. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris was there. Chris Jenner was there. Kim was there. Mm -hmm. um, Kylie was there. And the I always family. feel bad for Courtney and uh, Chloe. I really do. Do you know what Why? that does? They never that, get invited. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Yeah. This, this corset? Like a tube of toothpaste. Yes. You know, like a kid who doesn't know to roll it from the bottom. You just squeeze it in the middle. <laughs> That's and it. And pop on the top and pop on the bottom. <laughs> That's it. Me. That's what's happening. Look at that. The funny thing is, the runway version of that is scanty. Like, there's nothing underneath that. So I was like, how is she going to take this runway dress? So she, the fact that we see a corset and a little something covering, thank goodness, because <laughs> it was literally nothing. Um, my, uh, my choice was scandal actress Carrie Washington. She pulled up to the oh, Vanity Fair party yes. in this gorgeous Jean-Baptiste Valley sheer uh, black gown embellished with uh, three bows and bejeweled bodice. Her high ponytail was also the perfect, perfect match for this fun, flirty, sexy dress. I saw her and I literally gasped. I was like, where were you three hours ago when we needed yeah. you yes. on the red carpet for the Oscars? I thought she looked like a dream. It's beautiful. She looked comfortable. That's one thing about Kendall's dress. I'm like, are you girls, don't you want to be comfortable? Same yeah. thing with Margot's yeah. dress. It's like, you look great, but you don't look like you're going to have fun at this party. Like, you can sit down, eat, and relax. I felt like she, uh, Carrie's choice, made it look like she could have a fun time, true, dance, true. and also look fabulous. So I thought Gorgeous. she was like A+. Plus. Well, Gorgeous. keeping up. Yeah, <laughs> agreed. I think... In keeping with what you just said, like I don't think this person who I've chosen would have a fun time at the party. Okay. She looked amazing. It is Emily Ratajkowski, and oh. this dress. Oh, oh, girl. I, girl. I mean, where do we start? I'll just I'll do an echo oh, back, call back like to the uh, Emily Blunt dress. Remember, yeah. I was talking about the escaping um, uh, Sleeve? uh, sleeves, yeah, whatever yeah. you call it, yeah. straps. This dress looks like it's actually trying to get away from her. Like it's yeah. like <laughs> she's like trying to come off her and get away and go to another party. Maybe it wanted to go to a different party, this dress. I don't know how you sit in this. I don't no. know how you eat in this. Dance. I do not know how anybody, if I was also sitting trying to have a conversation, I do not know how you look at someone wearing this dress without being like... You know what she needed? You know what she needed? <laughs> right? She oh, needed I John need. Cena's envelope. Just yeah. to cover it. Yeah. Right there to hold it yeah. and be like, Just hey, everybody, I'm okay. ready for the party. Yeah. Yeah. There you it go. It was like it rhymed Phantom of the Opera, the mask, <laughs> but then shifted. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> right? Well, but it was a mask for her boots? It does. Like, it was trying to get away. The mask was, didn't yeah. want a mask. Yeah. yeah. What did they change? Is that a dumb question? Where, did they, they go to the Oscars in one outfit, Presumably, that's not just a quick switch over yeah. where you're carrying that dress. There is a hotel right there. Yeah. There is a yeah, hotel, yeah, I'm guessing. Oh. But you'd think guessing. that they would change into something more comfortable. But I guess, you know what? She was like, nope, I'm just going to have that right one. Just always trying to escape. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh. Interesting choice.
Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.